Welcome back everybody. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of homemade recipes weekly, so if you consider subscribing, be sure to click that bell notification to get all of my latest videos. Okay, so I'm going to recreate my barbacoa recipe video. A couple years ago, I did a recipe on what I grew up when I would go to the Mexican meat markets, stand in those long lines on Sunday to get barbacoa. Now barbacoa, the way I know it, is basically slow cooked beef cheeks, or we would ask for puro cachete. Maybe some of you that grew up having this know what I'm talking about. And this is basically a slow cooked beef cheek recipe with spices and seasonings, very simple, very easy, and it's so delicious for a Sunday breakfast. We would have barbacoa tacos and a bowl of menudo. By the way, I will link my recipe for that below. And it was the perfect Mexican style breakfast. It's childhood all over again. And here's how I do it. To get started, I'm going to use my slow cooker. And here I have three pounds of beef cheeks. This actually was around three and a half, but I did trim some of the extra fat. The pre-packaged beef cheeks that I get at my store do come with a lot of fat. So once I place that in my slow cooker, I'm now going to add two and a half teaspoons of coarse ground sea salts. If you're using something like fine salt, maybe one and a half to two teaspoons works. It's definitely up to your preference. I'm also going to be adding two large bay leaves. And here I have half of a small onion and four cloves of garlic. And I'm also going to be adding around a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And the amount is definitely up to you. But for the most part, this is all I'm adding to the slow cooker. No liquid, just the meat, the seasoning, and spices. Now I'm going to cover it with my lid and I'm going to set it to a low setting. And this is going to cook overnight for 12 hours. Okay. So by the next morning, your barbacoa is done. I put this to cook at 8.30 the night before. It is 8.30 in the morning and I'm ready for some tacos. And I want to show you, a lot of that fat has rendered, a lot of those juices have collected at the bottom and the smell in my kitchen, I'm telling you, it smells like Sunday breakfast. So I'm going to remove it whole or as best as I can because it's very tender. It's literally falling apart. I'm going to put it on a pan and I do suggest not to shred it just yet until you are ready to serve because this does sort of dry out as it sets exposed to the air. So I just want to show you, I'm just pressing on it and it's shredding. So now I've warmed up my tortillas and I'm just going to make a taco. And the perfect side to this is a bowl of menudo. And I will link that recipe below. But I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite childhood breakfast. A taco with a little salsa and my menudo. And I'm a happy girl. Okay, so that was my easy recipe for barbacoa. Again, a barbacoa taco, an ice cold Coke, and a bowl of menudo, and all was right with the world. It was perfect. And again, that is a childhood favorite. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Bye.